All right, Shalom, before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Rash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like to Akim Wa'akwa, learning and teaching of truth and sincerity. Your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Hey, this video here, um, you know, I'm so sick of seeing all these commercials and ads and little shit like this, and I will be slightly more pleased when this shit is done. Um, this whole presidency uh, bullshit, y'all. We understand that, you know, it's a game set up by Esau to work on the minds of the people, right? To stir their emotions and to get them carnally charged. Nevertheless, you know, we're still bombarded with all the propaganda. Uh, and we know scripturally, which we're going to go to in Revelation, no matter what side you think you choose, both of them have the same end goal because they're working for the same organization, all right? Ultimately, which is for Edom. Whether you go left or right, it does not matter. There are two wings on the same bird, all right? And you best believe we're going to go to that uh, chapter out of Revelation. And now, this is something that, you know, here it is. Our people, we've been oppressed in this country. You know, a nigga gets killed and the niggas get angry. And then every, you know, four years roll around. And then what do you see? That sentiment of wanting to up and, you know, be, uh, what's the word, patriotic. And we got to get somebody that's going to fix this. When, since when? When has anyone in this world ever cared about you? So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the biblical Israelites. This country has had over 100 presidents to get it right. When has a single one of them done right by you? So to expect anyone coming to do so is pure insanity all right and this is something that hey think. even uh, malcolm was think. talking about this back in the day y'all this is decades centuries old they're not for you left or right both of them are your enemy because this entire system is set up to oppress you no one is coming to free you no one is coming to loose the bonds of captivity other than yahweh shai so our people you know, this, this sick repetition of trusting in Egypt, it's just that. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, they, they sick from the whole the head to the whole foot, man. They keep running to the enemy. They keep running to the very man that is slaying them. And it's insanity. Let me start with scripture, then I'll get that video with Mount. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. All right, Egypt represents bondage the house of bondage for the israelites the very land where we were taken captive where the heavenly father delivered us out of um it is a shame to return unto them to seek for help and in today's time it represents america our people are relying on the very same government that kidnapped you enslaved you slaughtered you raped you worked you to the bone you can't see in the morning to can't see at night to, tr to trust on that same establishment is a it's a fucking anomaly it is insane all right it says most of them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel neither seek the lord all right and in the ancient world you know horses your soldiers this represented your might you know your military your ability to protect the people in today's time what do you have the bureaucracy the, uh, you know, welfare system, credit system, right? So-called education system, entertainment. Our people trust in all these ploys set up to distract the mind and break down your body. None of them have helped you, can help you, or will help you. The only one who can help the Israelites is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. And since our people refuse to return unto them, that's why they find themselves in this condition. So let's let Malcolm break it down because even he was telling you, it don't matter which way you go, both of them is wicked. This place. The wolf doesn't end, I think, not too. But being friendly and being a friend, I think, are two different things. I think there are many whites who act friendly toward Negroes. A fox acts, acts friendly toward the lamb and usually the fox is the one who ends up with the lamb chop on his plate 
the wolf doesn't act friendly and therefore the wolf has more difficulty in getting the lamb chopped in his plate. I'd like to point out though that... And, I, I, and we are the lambs. You know, how, how coincidental for him to use that phrase. And I say that because it is usually the, if you study the structure of the Negro community, economically, politically, civically, psychologically and otherwise, it's controlled by the white liberal who usually poses as the friend of the Negro, who actually differs from the white conservative in, in the same way that the fox differs from the wolf. Uh, their appetite is the same, their motives are the same, it's only their mannerisms and, and methods that differ. But Precisely. They, they're right now, who are they shoving down your throat? Uh, Kamala. A little beforehand, who is they shoving down your whole uh, throat? Biden. Before him, Obama. They all claiming to be for your benefit, but when you look at what was done behind them, it was all to your detriment. They're playing two games. You got good cop, bad cop, right? One cop is beating you up, kneeing you in the nuts, right? Waterboarding you. The other cop is trying to tell man, look, man, just confess, man. I'll get this guy off you, man. Here, you want a Twinkie? You want some tea? Here, just stay here for a sleep out overnight. I'll come back and talk to you. What are they both trying to get out of you? A false confession to lock you up for the rest of your life. And you niggas fall for it. Just because one will allow you to mark your babies, you think they care about you. Neither of them do. And where do we see this told to us in Revelation? They both give what? Uh, they're both setting contingencies upon you that are a strain meaning what they're both making you live by laws that are not good for you all right revelation 13 and where are we at uh 11 and i beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon what is this beast here america coming up out of the earth meaning what like this kingdom that rose up that was set up kingdoms are comprised of people people come from the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and he spake as a dragon in ancient time Rome had what the plebeians and patricians America is modeled after Rome in all facets especially politically we have a bipartisan political system meaning what two parties what are they the Democrats and the, Re the Republicans both tell you that they're going to benefit you both tell you you know this is what we'll do over here well this is what we're going to do over here but they neither of them are to your benefit they are both to your detriment all right it says and he spake as a dragon what draconian laws what is let me see if etymology has it to speak as a dragon they and them horns like a lamb they appear to be soft they appear to be delicate like a lamb they appear to be you know incapable of doing you harm but they speak as a dragon dragons do harm vicious right it says draconian uh, of or pertaining to draco the ancient greek statesman it says in reference to laws rigorous extremely severe or harsh that's how they speak as a dragon right it says uh it says a uh, name of the Archon of Athens who laid down a code of laws for Athens 621 BCE that mandated death as punishment for minor crimes. His name seems to literally, literally mean sharp-sided. And then it says what? See? Dragon! Come on, man. Esau is luring you in, pretending like they care about you. For those of you niggas who are more uppity, they got Trump. For those of you who is more low down, they got Kamala this time around. But both of you, both of them are, either way it goes, they're going to do their part, commanded by the elite banking families, to bring hell upon you. Ultimately issuing in the mark, which if you don't take, you know, you'll be punished, right? As we know further down in Revelation. That's their end game goal. Neither of them are for your benefit. One tell you he gonna cut this taxes. The other one tell you gonna they gonna cut that taxes. It's a fucking lie. It's a farce. They 
they do what? Isaiah, what is that? 10 and 1. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed, to turn aside the needy from judgment, and to take away the, the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey, and that they may rob the fatherless. Those that are in charge over us, they're setting up laws to, to screw you over, to take advantage of you, especially the ones that are weak and lowly of you, which our people are in general. And then you have, have the sellout coons who, to gain better position, they don't mind selling themselves out to the enemy, whichever side. He's going to speak on that. number of, of Negro leaders who have consistently betrayed Negroes in a whole host of areas. They aren't really Negro leaders. These are puppets that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. These are parrots that have been put in front of the Negro community by white liberals. You can't name me a Negro leader who has been a Negro leader who has been betray, who has betrayed Negroes, who is not who has not been endorsed, sanctioned, uh, subsidized, and supported by the white liberals. Yep. Hey, and last night, Sunday, um, you had the elder brothers Yahweh and. Uh, Yashawamba, they were doing a video about the Black Boule, how, you know, it's a secret club, and those niggas who are on that level, you know, they're set up by Esau Edom ultimately, you know, athletes, uh, people, you know, lawyers, uh, business executives, right, uh, people that work in the Senate, politicians and whatnot, they are set up, and they have no problems screwing over their own people while they remain in an advantageous position. Which, you know, is being done to you niggas once again. Given that illusion of inclusion, the glass ceiling, that you can make it too, but really, you can't. You have not been given a leader to help you. All, all these people that you niggas look up to, they've all been to, uh, they've all been Judas goats to lure you into the slaughterhouse. That's why it also says what it says in Isaiah, going back. These fucking phones are always just doing some glitchy, buggy shit. Now, how, how did it switch back to Revelation on its own, man? Oh, my Lord, man. Isaiah 9 and uh, 16. For the leaders of this people call them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Right. So you following these leaders, and they just going to lead you to your fucking doom. Real quick, let me get you an example. You have this idiot right here. Which he was, a, you know, he was a good football player. He was an amazing athlete, but he's a he's a fucking idiot. He's a coon. There's time for it to stop, and it stopped on Tuesday when we get to the polls and we vote for my friend and your friend, Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump. And it is time for it to. Stop. You know, so you know they're making fun of him because he was having a slip up. But right here, he's encouraging you, you know, to you know pick one of the two and the one and he's going with Trump right it doesn't matter you silly fucking niggas you just don't get it you still don't fucking get it it's the same okie doke every couple years and you still fall for it they let a couple niggas hold up man they, they get a couple niggas to rap with them where is that one at they'll throw they'll get a rapper up there I seen one of them see look at all this bullshit what is this Katy Perry you know niggas love them some Katy Perry uh, uh, what is Oprah? Niggas love him some Oprah. She's back in Mala. That's something that's called a bitch, Mala. It's Christina Aguilera. They're specifically getting people that they know that you niggas like to steer you in that direction. Like the good old dummies that you are. Wow. Vice President Mala will legalize recreational marijuana. Wow. Who's that directed at? You niggas to keep you sedated. Not paying attention, per usual. Little baby. Okay, whatever. I thought it was going to be for the... Uh... Oh my gosh, man. You can't make this fucking shit up and you niggas fall for it. Every flying fucking time. Yeah, it looks like that may be it. Uh, what's this? Donnie Dump. If, you definition, if your definition of protection is making sure our daughters have fewer rights than their mothers, then I don't want it. So you see another this bitch... And Y'all seen, seen the clip. They turned her, her teleprompter went off or whatever. She couldn't even speak. She just a stupid airhead. I think y'all, you niggas leaders is people with fake body parts. 
and be using auto tune. Such shuts down planes that she was paid to speak at the Mahler rally in Wisconsin today. So, oh, so you just strolled in? Man, stop it, y'all. Jake, man, you read the scriptures. What are we supposed to do? Well, ultimately, the elect ain't gonna fall for this shit. So that's all the focus is on. Isaiah 10 and 20. It says, It shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, the elect, the one third, the children, the one third in America, and the scattered remnant throughout the planet, uh, it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel in truth. That's what we're supposed to stay on and trust in. Both of these parties are to your destruction. Neither of them have your benefit in mind. And you niggas, once again, are only going to realize this when it's too late. But it's fine. You know, the, the, the destruction's coming. Uh, it's going to wipe you niggas off your feet. So, you know, that's good. Uh, not too much longer. Not too much more of this bullshit. All right. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakak Barash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim Ma'akwath. Learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Oh, my fucking goodness, bro. Sexy red. Oh, my gosh. Torah.